What's up guys, it's me, back again, another video. As of now, God of War Ragnarok is coming out real soon, and I wanted to make little Kratos action figures, so that's what I did here today, I want to show it to you guys. To you guys. Um, yeah, so to start off, I used a G.I. Joe body, because I wanted a, a smaller 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figure, so he could look nice and small compared to like some other creatures or characters, whatever, so the, they looked nice and imposing, looked really cool. And, um, for the process, all I did, I cut off his hands and his feet. I gave him new ankles, so he had, a uh, you know, better articulation there and pivots. I gave him new hands, so he had better articulation and pivot. Shaved everything down, um, except for the legs, mostly. Mostly just the upper body. And then I sculpted over it, gave him his armor, musculature, his beard, his face. Um, his face is from a, a random Jurassic World mercenary figure. That's what that's from. And, um, then, as well as sculpting, I also used a, a mix of that and masking tape for the armor. Uh, I would just, you know, fold it over, uh, depending on how thick I need the armor, that's how many layers I would do, usually it was just two. And then, you know, I'd cut it thin or thick and glue it on and layer it to be however I need. That's how I did this, these skirt pieces, because now it's nice and flexible. And it actually, the texture's nice, so it paints good. And the flexibility, yeah, that's, it allows for the, the shoulder armor to not hinder the arms, so that's good. And you can use it for really detailed stuff, so it's actually a great technique to use. Uh, I think you guys should try it out, you might as well. And that's what I did, a mix of that, sculpting, sanding down, and that's why I had this. And for the paint, my simple paint, I just laid on uh, layers of brown, dry brushing, a little bit some grays and mixed in with reds to give them skin because the skin isn't a perfect white but it's um it's pretty pale very pale very 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 white at the same time so that's how i did that and then some silver paint of course for the details and i'm actually i'm very happy with how the uh paint job turned out here let's, let's take a closer look let's see light yeah i think it looks i think it looks pretty good there are some details i'm missing of course because i'm not going for super Super accurate, but I I just wanted a, a nicely detailed figure, you know? One that has a good shape, very recognizable, which I think it is pretty recognizable as Kratos God of War. Getting into articulation. So, it's pretty basic, nothing crazy. His shoulders go up about that far, same range. I think this one can go a little farther. Yeah. Uh, Not full 360, but you can go, like, all the way up. So, it, it, it's everything I need. This one, same thing. Not really as far up, but it goes well. They both elbow bends in like about 90 degrees. And a swivel too. No bicep swivel, but there's a swivel there, so it works perfectly fine. This has a hinge at the wrist. Uh, which is one thing I really like. It gives a little more expression and just slight bit of um, accent to what? Okay, whatever. Uh there's a dice roll hinge. I don't know how else you would describe it. This one goes like that pivots that way versus this one pivots inward and out this one pivots like forward and back sort of um the diaphragm joint actually is still is pretty good range and he can get some good posing there no way swivel but doesn't really need it this this can also twist oh head ball joint very restrictive though it can basically only swivel it can be like slight bit of tilting but nothing really the legs leg can kick out that far both of them kick out about that far as a little farther. The split is about that far. Double knee, joint, ankle pivot. So, yeah, nothing crazy, but it's also pretty good, I think. I think it some nice dynamic poses. I don't have an axe for him. Uh, for now, I'm just using this as a placeholder just because it's, like, about the right size. So you can get him, get him looking cool. Uh, size comparisons. He is a smaller figure. I was because I wanted the other characters to look nice and large next to him. Here he is next to a work in progress Thor figure, which I need to do a lot to. He is very early on in the process, but he is Jimungus in the game, so he's gonna be about that tall next to him. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, here's next to an actual Thor figure. His cape is gone and that stuff, but yeah, it's, it's all right. Here he is next to a custom Doom Slayer that I made. Actually, wait, let's, 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 let's keep this guy in. Here he is next to the custom Batman. Smaller one, obviously, the bigger one. 
Let me guess why not. It's a bigger one. It's right there. It's right there. So, and then in terms of larger characters and figures, for like, you know, big creatures or whatever, here's a swamp monster thing that I made. Which I like the size there. I think that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty great. Would look good in stop motion. Here is next to. Oh shit! I just spilled the water everywhere. Damn. Ooh, goopy paint water. Uh, okay. Whatever. I'll leave it. Here's next to the, or not the an old customer of mine, like a troll ogre dude, whatever. Also looks pretty cool. I think. Uh, I'd love to make stop motion with these. I said about everything though, so don't count on it. Um, but yeah, I think these characters look pretty cool next to each other. And it makes for a cool looking, uh, Kratos figure, you know? So, that, that just about wrap, wraps it, uh, wraps it up, I think. I, um, I just wanted a simple, quick, easy custom, which it was pretty easy. It seems like it'd be complicated when you see all, like, the layers to the suits, but when you, it's really simple when you just, like, start layering tape and gluing it and... And then that's just about it, you know? Painting, it was really fun. It's a really simple process. And it's pretty doable, too, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I might make stop motion. Probably not, considering circumstances, whatever. But I'm really happy with how this, how this custom turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll make some more accessories for him in the future. And thank you guys all for watching. See you guys later.